Hello Explorer, thanks again for joining us and welcome back to our channel. If you are new here, here at Explorer, we are going beyond the borders to bring you inspiring content and also some very educating information. Hopefully you found some time to have checked our previous videos. If you haven't done so, we will encourage you to do so. Today we shall be looking at leaders around the world that have ruled their countries for decades. By this we mean over 10 years and counting. Of course, we shall look into how these leaders in particular, their number of years in particular, and why they are still moving forward. Without any more delay, we shall just go straight into it. With regards to monarch in different countries, monarch can be in power beyond until they are dead. Of course, this is because there is no particular tenure for kings and queens. But how long can a state hold a particular leader? It's the question we are looking at. In this episode, we are looking at how democracy, a state leader for other societies, could mean something different. For some particular countries, leaders should have a particular term of office. But for others, ruling a country for 10 years and more is bad normal. Looking forward, this particular list we've put together those leaders that have actually uh, managed and also ruled their nations for decades. And some individuals who live in those countries, like the citizens, up to 25 or 30 percent were not born when these particular leaders came to power. Of course, it could be questioned that some of those leaders have actually held their countries together to prosperity. Others would also question that this hasn't been the situation. Of course, as well, looking at this particular situation, we are going to review to you that some of these particular leaders joined their government decades ago, holding positions like ministers, prime ministers, and also finally top up to the presidency, and they are still living on to it today. If you are new to a Explorer, we want to ask you to subscribe and share our videos to your different network. Number one, Teodoro Obiangema Basongo. Teodoro Obiangema Basongo is the president of the Equatorial Guinea. Obiangema Basongo is an Equatorial Guinean politician who has been the second president of Equatorial Guinea since 1979. He is actually, at the moment, has ruled the country for over 41 years and counting. He is currently 78 years old and is still moving. Some will question that why a president should be in power for over 41 years. Of course, others will say he is steering the country in the right direction. But again, others will point out to the reason why staying in power for this length of time comes with a lot of challenges. Number 2. Paul Beer of Cameroon. The president of Cameroon, Paul Beer, is currently over 87 years old and currently is still moving forward. Paul Beer came to power as prime minister that was since 1975. At the time, he became president in 1982. He has been in power for over 45 years and still counting. Currently, there are lots of questions with regards to his current uh, movement in the country. Staying in power for this length of years brought lots of questions. Others will say he's held the country for prosperity so far, but again others will question that the current instability and the chaos in the nation is as a result of this length of years that a particular president will be in power. Number 3. Ali Khamenei. Ali Khamenei, Said Husseini Khamenei, is a 12 Shia Maja and the second and current supreme leader of Iran. He has been in office since 1989. The over 81-year-old came into power as the president of Iran that was since October 1981. Khamenei has been ruling for over 39 years and counting at the moment. Others will point out some of the challenges that his country faced, but again, um, the people are actually are still looking up to him with regards to its reign. 
He has been in power for this length of time and others will question why this is continuing. Number four, Hong Seng. Hong Seng is the Cambodian politician who has served as the Prime Minister of Cambodia since December of 1984. He is over 68 years old and has held this position for 35 years and counting. It is interesting how one person could be in power for over 35 years and counting. This has drawn a lot of criticisms and others will point out that the share of the country has not been experienced by everybody in that particular nation. And for one person staying in power for 36 years comes with a lot of question. Number five, if you are new to Web Explorer, we will encourage you to subscribe and share our videos to your different network. Yuri Museveni. Yuri Kantu Kanguta Museveni is a Ugandan politician who has been president of Uganda that was since January of 1986. The 70, over 76 years old has been in power for over 34 years and is still counting. Most of the population of his country were not born when he actually assumed power. Some will question some of the concerns arising in that particular African nation as the reason why his one person has been in power for this length of time. Others will say he's held the country as revolutionary leader for many years in a successful direction. It is in fact questionable with regards to the current length of time a person stays in power. Number six, Idris Deby of Chad. Marshal Idris Deby Itno is a Chadian politician who has been the president of Chad since December of 1990. He is over 68 years old in power and 68 years of age and also for over 29 years he's been ruling that particular African nation. Others will question the current development in, in Chad and why this president is still moving forward and still taking his country to the direction that they are going into. Of course, others will say that he has actually held the country together to stability so far. Of course, staying in power for this length of time draws a lot of questions. Number seven, Nusultan Nazanbayev. Nusultan Abishuli Nazanbayev is a Kazakh politician currently serving as the chairman of the Security Council of Kazakhstan, who previously serves as the first president of Kazakhstan. He's been in office since December of 1991 until his former resignation on March of 19, 2019. He's over 80 years old, has been serving the country for over 28 years and counting. This draws a lot of question with regards to his effort in this particular position. Number eight, Emolani Roman. Emomali Roman is a Tajik politician who has served as president of Tajikistan since November 1992. He was the de facto head of state of Tajikistan, then became the president. For he is over 68 years old and has been in power for over 28 years and counting. There are lots of questions regards to the Tajikistan's movement and the development with regards to this particular one person staying in power for this length of time. Of course, others will say that it is their leader and they are moving forward. Number nine, Aisaid Afeke. Aisaid Afeke is the Eritrean politician who has been the first and current president of Eritrea. He came into power on May 1993 after the Eritrean War of Independence. The over 74 year old has held power for over 27 years and is still counting. Some will question that after the independence war and why one leader should still be holding power and question the democratic nature of that particular African country. Of course, others will say that he's been holding the country together and they are moving forward. Last but not the least is Paul Kagame. 
If you are new to our channel, we want to encourage you to subscribe and share our videos to your different network. Paul Kagame is a Rwandan politician and a former military leader. He is the sixth and current president of Rwanda. Having taken office in 2000, previously he was the acting head of state in office from July 1994. The over 63-year-old has been in power for 26 years and is still counting. Others will say that Paul Kagame has driven his country to economic prosperity and has held the country tight together to foster economic development. There are a few people who could point otherwise. Of course, he's a charismatic leader and the people of his country will definitely like his rule. Again, with regards to the development and prosperity nature that Rwanda has been talked about, that's been accredited to him in a whole lot of ways. We want to thank you for watching us. Hopefully, we've informed you with regards to the longest serving leaders around the world who have ruled their country for decades. If you are new to our channel, we want to encourage you to subscribe. And if you feel that there is a particular leader we've left out with regards to our assessment, we would like to hear from you. If not, we want to thank you for watching the Explorer. Thanks for looking out. Hopefully, you can watch our previous videos. For now, have a good day. Bye bye.